Hey, good morning. It's Thursday, September 29th. And here on our morning check-ins, we're answering your questions. You can always submit a question by emailing us info at myefree.org. I may not get to all of them. And remember, I only have three minutes to answer them. Thanks for watching this morning. Today's question comes from Vernon. And it's this, is there a judgment day after death occurs? And Vernon, the answer is yes. And there's one for believers and there's one for unbelievers. Let's start for unbelievers. The Bible says they will stand at what we call the great white throne judgment, where they'll be judged for their sin because they have not put their faith in Christ. And the result of that judgment is they will be cast into a lake of fire which burns for eternity. Let me read the passage that describes it. It's not a fun passage to read, but it's biblical truth. Revelation 20 verse 11 says this, Then I saw a great white throne, there you have it Vernon, the white throne judgment, and I saw the dead, great and small, didn't matter if you were powerful or a pauper, standing before the throne, the throne of God, and the books were open, that's the books that describe your sin, and another book, which is the book of life. Now in that book is written the names of everyone who's put their faith in the death and resurrection of Jesus. It says the dead were judged from the things in the books according to their deeds. We're all sinners. That's why we deserve to be separate from God forever in hell. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, meaning they had not put their faith in the death and resurrection of Jesus, they were thrown into the lake of fire. Now let me stop right there and let me just say this. If you happen to be watching this morning check-in, and you've never put your faith in Jesus Christ, I hope this verse will show you what's at stake. God does not want you to spend eternity apart from him. He wants you to spend eternity with him in heaven. That's why he sent Christ to die for your sins, to rise from the dead. And if you will call on the name of the Lord today, the Bible says he'll save you. So Vernon, there is a judgment after death for unbelievers, but what about believers? And the answer is yes. Now remember, for a believer to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Our soul immediately goes to heaven. That means our last breath on earth becomes our first breath in heaven. But we will also face a judgment. It's called in the Bible the judgment seat of Christ. It's different than the great white throne judgment. The great white throne judgment for unbelievers is about where will you spend eternity. The judgment seat of Christ is only for believers. We're already going to be in heaven. It's about what rewards will we get. The purpose of this judgment is not to judge our sin, but rather to reward us for our service. Listen to these words in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Therefore, being always of good courage and knowing that while we're at home in the body, we're absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not sight. We are of good courage, I say, and prefer rather to be absent from the body and be at home with the Lord. Therefore, we also have as our ambition, whether at home or absent, to be pleasing to him. Why? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. So yes, everyone will appear at a judgment after death. For unbelievers, the great white throne judgment. For believers, the judgment seat of Christ. This would be a powerful video to put on your Facebook page. I hope you'll share it right now. Father, thank you that we can know for sure we're going to heaven. And I thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, tomorrow we're going to go ahead and round out the work week with one more of your questions. Have a great Thursday.